What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. So on today's episode, we are going over an update on the Rock Rooster Farland hiking boot. So this is the 1 million step update as I've been doing over the last two to three months now. Um, these boots have been absolutely amazing. So if you are new to the channel, I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So I am all about recommending the best thing in each category. And well, I have been working with Rock Rooster for a while now and their boots have not disappointed. So they are definitely something that I recommend you spend your money on. And if you're here to see exactly if these boots are for you, I can tell you that they're an astounding two thumbs up. So let's get into the reason why I consider these boots two thumbs up. So these are their hiking boots. So naturally you want them to be waterproof. You want them to be grippy on the bottom. Uh, you want them to be comfortable, right? So the one thing that I've always uh, uh, figured out about Rock Rooster is from the very first pair I ordered to, uh, I think this is my fifth pair, uh, they are comfortable from day one. So it's one of those things that it's just, you know, you put a lot of money into a boot and then it's not comfortable. It's so disappointing. Or you have to walk so far and you have to wear them for months to break in a set of boots. It's just something that you hate to do, especially if you're spending upwards of 200 plus dollars on a pair of boots, you want them to be comfortable. I've never had that problem with Rock Rooster. They are 100% comfortable from the beginning. So. Uh, they do do their own proprietary uh, insoles and they're pretty darn good. I have had nothing bad to say about their insoles. They are pretty impressive for what I consider a stock boot. You don't have to put any upgrades into it to make it comfortable. Now one thing I will say about these boots is they are hot. So if you think you're going to wear them inside, indoors, your feet are gonna sweat in them regardless. So I wear some synthetic uh, boot socks with these. I wear and one uh, synthetic boot socks in these. And if I'm working inside, my feet sweat in them. So you're naturally gonna get wet. So um, obviously with them being waterproof, it holds in the moisture. So once you sweat in them and then you go outside, a lot of people will be like, well, these boots kind of suck because my feet are cold now. Well. The reason why your feet are cold is because you've already sweat through your socks and your feet are already wet and then you went outside and now you are you know, getting that sweat cold and your feet are cold. So if you have the right, um, if you're thinking about the exact you know, things that happen in these boots, you have to have reasonable expectations. I definitely recommend these for 100% outdoor wear. If I'm outdoors from the very first time and I'm doing things like snow removal and I'm hiking through snow and I'm, I'm trampsing through um, the hard pack snow, these things don't get cold. My feet stay nice and warm in them. So even to the point where I sweat a little bit and then afterwards when I go inside, my feet are, are cold. Well, that's because your feet are wet because you sweat in them. So they are very, very warm. If you think you're gonna wear them inside and sweat in them and then go outside, you're gonna be disappointed. You need to know exactly how your feet work in a boot to have that expectation. So if you do get wet or your feet get sweaty, it's time to change your socks. A lot of people will wear a boot all day long and then they will start to um, get a little uh, achy. You know, they're walking around and they're like, man, by the end of the day, my feet are aching and these boots hurt so bad. Maybe it's because your socks are wet and your feet are aching from the sweaty socks that you're standing in. It's not the boots problem. If the boot was comfortable from the beginning, it's probably still just as comfortable now, but your feet are aching for a different reason. Change your socks. Do you get the topic here? So these boots are outstanding. I have had nothing bad to say about them. They are 100% waterproof. They do keep out the water for sure. Um, I stomp the snow off them and you, you can't even really tell that I've worn them. So obviously with keeping water out, they do keep water in. So these are a boot that you probably want to put on a boot dryer at night. These aren't going to dry out like your traditional leather boots. They are going to hold that moisture inside. So that's not a downfall of the boot. That's not something that needs to be improved from Rock Rooster. It's literally how you care for this type of boot. I think they executed this boot absolutely flawlessly. Um, I like the hardware on it the big buckles, the nice thick lacing. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I got an extra pair of um, 
an extra pair of laces for this boot when I ordered them. And you literally can't even tell that I've been walking around in them for a million steps. They kind of look like the day I bought them. And they're Goodyear soles, so um, they've held up well. I highly recommend them for the price. If you're interested in uh, at least checking out Rock Rooster or getting you a pair, I'll put a link in the description below. I'll even throw in a discount code for you guys. Um, if you're looking for an awesome hiking boot, these are pretty darn good. And, uh, you know, I've had hiking boots from Keen and companies like that. And yeah, they hold up well, but uh, a lot of that stitching and stuff uh, starts to wear out over time. And I think that a lot of those companies put stitching in the wrong places. If you have a stitch in a critical area that's constantly under compression and you, when you walk every step, that stitch is gonna wear out. I don't care how good it is, if it's triple or quadruple stitched, it's gonna wear out. Why do you put a, a stitch in a critical area? I'm not sure. So these are absolutely constructed with that in mind. Um, they are a awesome boot and I've just been very, very impressed. Are they slippery when wet? Yeah, a little bit, uh, but not any more than a regular boot. So if you're looking into this pair of boots or you're looking into Rock Rooster at all, two thumbs up guys, they're awesome. Of course, this is a paid promotion. Rock Rooster did send these to me, but I would never let you down on exactly what my recommendations are. So I've had many products that have been given to me and I give them the big old thumbs down. So. Um, don't think that this is a biased review. I've put the time in on these bad boys and they are uh, really coming along. So I have noticed a little wear and tear on the toe. Uh, we'll see what that uh, you know comes in or comes out to being here in a few. Um, as far as cleaning these, a regular saddle soap probably would do you just fine. Um, clean the leather up and right back at it. And I also love the gray color. So, you know, I'm a gray and black kind of guy and these match my wardrobe. So whether they're with a pair of work pants, um, if you haven't seen my video on the True Work work pants, I wear these uh, with those True Work work pants and I literally step in, in three feet of snow and my pants stay down on the boots and I don't get any snow in my boots when I'm walking through two and three foot of snow. It's incredible. So it's really a great combination for tramps and through snow. Um, I have nothing bad to say here, uh, two thumbs up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, it's time to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and we'll see you guys in the next video.